One of the most common reasons that people give for not wanting to use binoculars is they give me a headache or I just don't feel comfortable using them. This video will give you the tools to ensure that you feel comfortable using and setting up your binoculars. So let's go through the steps on how to properly set up binoculars. Step one, setting up the eye cup. Have you ever looked through binoculars and seen thick black edges? Chances are you didn't have the eye cup set up properly. Ideally, you'll be able to see the entire scene without any black edges. It's really easy to remember how to properly set up the eye cups. Do you wear glasses? Then make sure the eye cup is fully retracted. If you don't wear glasses, make sure the eye cup is fully extended. This means that you have achieved the correct eye relief. It's that easy. Step two, adjusting the interpupillary distance. This is just a fancy way of making sure the binocular is set up according to the distance between your eyes. Adjusting is easy. Simply hold the binocular with both hands and move the tubes up or down until a single image circle is achieved. Step three, adjusting the focus for each eye. This section pertains to center focus binoculars that use the main dial to focus each barrel. And with the exception of a very few high-end binoculars that use individual focus, every binocular in the Nikon lineup is center focused. We'll start by focusing the left eye, and this is key. With both eyes open, cover the right barrel with your right hand, and using your left hand, rotate the center dial until clean and sharp focus is achieved in your left eye. Now don't touch the center dial until the next step is complete. With your left hand, cover the left barrel, and using your right hand, rotate the diopter control ring on the right eye cup until sharp focus is achieved in your right eye. Now that you've focused both eyes, you can turn the center dial again, which will provide you with a crisp and clean view through both barrels. If multiple users will be sharing the same binocular, using a Sharpie or some nail polish, have each user put a mark on the diopter control ring. This will make adjusting focus just a little bit quicker for each person after they've set up focus in their left eye. Also, your prescription can slowly change over time, so it is recommended that you repeat all these steps as well as check your diopter once or twice a year. So as a recap, the three things you need to remember to do are adjust the eye cup, adjust the interpupillary distance, and adjust the focus. Doing these things will help you get the most out of your binocular for years to come.